Hi, and welcome to Lunchtime Prayer Power. I'm Deidre Banks. Monday through Friday, we come together for a few moments during a lunch break to pray for the seven mountains of influence. Those seven mountains are media, arts and entertainment, religion, family, education, business, and also government. That's media, arts and entertainment, religion, family, education, business, and also government. Today we're praying for the media mountain and we're praying for souls to be saved through media outlets. We're praying for soul to be saved through media outlets. Now media has a powerful platform. It can draw us in through social media, newspapers, blog posts, and also television. And there's other sources of media too. So there are these ways that media can be used to draw people in. Now we know that John 16, 44 says, no one can come to me unless the father who sent me draws him and I will raise him up on the last day. But there's outlets that can be used to to express, to proclaim the good news of the Lord. And how can they believe unless they've heard? And so we want to pray for this, that there would be media outlets so people can hear the word of the Lord and also express, be able to go forth in their own, what God is giving them through ministry and proclaim the good news of the Lord. We live in a powerful time where social media is so accessible to people all over the world. And there's some places uh, where they don't have as much access, but so much of the world is connected by social media and other forms. And so this is a powerful tool that we can use for good. Yes, there is some things or are some things on social media where it's not being used for good, but God can utilize these platforms. God is creative and he's giving us witty ideas and inventions to win souls. And we want to pray for them that God will draw them in and that we'll be able to use these sources for good and not of evil. Romans 10 and 9 10 tells us that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You can't be saved. No, you will be saved. Verse 10, for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And it's a journey. You're saved, but you are working out your salvation with fear and trembling. You are saved when con you confess the Lord Jesus, but then we work out our salvation day by day by day. Romans 10 and 13 says, for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So people will call on the name of the Lord, just as you did if you were a born again believer, you called on the name of the Lord one day and you began to allow God to transform you. He came into your heart. And so you're allowing him day by day to come into your life, to renew you, to transform you with his word, to renew you with the Holy Spirit, to help you go forth, to give you the grace, to empower you to do what he's called you to do. And you're living your life out day by day with him. It didn't end at salvation. It didn't end at the saving of your spirit, but your soul is being saved. It's being transformed and you will be saved because you're allowing God to come into your life. You're confessing and you are believing unto righteousness, but it's day by day that we allow God to work out our salvation. Amen. We're working it out with him. We're working it out with him. We want to pray for the lost and that God would give us grace to work on the media mountain to win souls through media outlets. Father God, we thank you, Lord. You're good and you're mighty God. You're faithful and you're a gracious God. You're so good that you sent your son to die upon the cross for our sins. Jesus, who knew no sin, but became sin for us. We thank you, Lord, that you sent your son as a living sacrifice to die upon the cross, but he rose again and there was power in his rising. There was power in the redemption. There's power in the blood of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord, that we stand on that wonder working power on today. We thank you, Lord, that there's power in the blood of Jesus. There's power to heal sickness and diseases. There's power to forgive us of our iniquities. There's power in the blood to set people free. There's power, there's power, there's power, wonder-working power. So we thank you, Lord, on today. 
and that that power is living, breathing on the inside of us. So we stand firm in the power of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that you're drawing in the lost right now. You are talking to them even now in the midnight hour. They're hearing from you in visions and dreams. They're seeing that there's something else out there that they haven't caught a hold of yet. There's something else out there for them. And it's not in the streets. It's not in the drugs. It's not in the iniquities. It's not in uh, the fornication. It's not in the sexual immorality. It's not in the homosexuality. It's not in the debauchery. It's not in the fits of rage and the anger. It's not in the envy, but it's in you, Lord. And so we thank you, Father God, that you're drawing them in right now. Our family members are getting saved. The prodigals are coming home. People are running back to the house of God. People are coming back who haven't been in years, but they're coming back. They're being drawn in by your Holy Spirit. And we thank you, Father God, that you're drawing them in right now. You're speaking to them. You're showing them things. Their eyes are being opened. You're breaking off the deception and the blinders, and they're seeing the clear road. And it might be a winding road right now, but you're making every crooked way straight. As they're coming home, things are working out for them and you're accepting them with open arms. Help the church to be ready for the people that are coming in right now. Help us to be ready for the unconventional people who are coming in right now. And I say this because the people coming into the church right now, they're not fitting into those normal pews. They're not fitting into the status quo. They're coming and the violent taketh by force the kingdom of God. They're coming and they're hungry and they're ready and they're accelerating quickly. They're coming, they're getting set free and delivered and they're going out to deliver other people. They're coming, they're getting set free and they're on fire for God. They're preaching the good news of the gospel and they're unapologetic. They're not answering to the questions of their past because they're going towards their future. Help us, Father God, to let go of the past and catch hold of you. We thank you, Lord, that you're clearing the pathways. You're plowing right now with our prayers. The angels on assignment are ready for the great harvest. You're helping us even now to go forth in the things of God. We thank you, Lord, that those that call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. And we are saved. We are saved. We are saved. Even when we're working it out, we're saved. Even if we're, we even when we're working out with fear and trouble, we are saved. We're working it out with you, but we are saved. And we thank you, Father God, that we continue on. Your grace is sufficient for us. Your grace is enough. And we thank you, Lord. We're saved by grace through faith. We thank you, Lord, that we can call in the name and I want it to live in God. We can call on your name, Lord, and we shall be saved. The name of Jesus Christ. We call on your name, Lord. We call on your name, Lord. And we bless you. You are are a magnificent God. You're mighty to save. So we thank you, Lord. We confess with our mouth that you, Jesus Christ, has risen from the dead. You are loving. You're kind. You uh, took on sin for us. And so now, because of the wounds that you took, we can call on your name. We can be saved. We ask you right now, Father God, to pour out your word through the media outlets. We ask you, Lord, to open up avenues and doors to pour out your spirit. We ask you right now, Father God, for new inventions and new ways as we're under open heaven, Father God, that you pour out your blessings so that people have enough provision for the media outlets. Some of you may be dreaming about different media outlets. You may be even given from the Holy Spirit a new way to present information We thank you, Lord, that those ideas, they're coming with provision, that those ideas are coming with the leadership ideas. Those ideas are coming with the leadership team and those that are coming are coming ready to work. We thank you, Father God, that there's unity in the house of the Lord. Every division must fall where you're united in Jesus Christ and every joint supplies another. Those that are not willing to unite are going to be pushed out, not by us, but by the spirit because the spirit is going to be so strong, they're not going to be able to stand it. So all that stuff is either going to come off of us and we're going to get right with God or we're going to have to go away. But I believe that many will get it right with God because God is merciful. So Father God, help us to receive that Holy Spirit conviction. Help us right now, Father God, to receive that so that we will be able to stay with you 
And you're not pushing us out, so to speak, but because of that resistance, that resistance, some are going to feel that resistance and they're not going to turn towards God. They're going to go in the other direction, but God is coming with open arms. He's not trying to push us out. He's trying to push out the demons. And when God gets ready to do it, he's not even trying. He's going to push those demons out because as we're praying, as we're warring, the devil has to bow. The devil has to fall. And so the division is falling right now now in the church. The division is falling right now. It's under our feet because we are unified in Jesus Christ. We're coming together in perfect unity. And when there's unity, God commands a blessing. So we thank you, Lord, that as we come together right now, we're coming in unity. We're coming together, united in Christ Jesus, where there's neither slave nor free, Jew nor Gentile, uh, male or female. We thank you, Lord, that we are together. And we're confessing that you are Jesus Christ. We believe unto righteousness transforms our hearts even now. Open up doors in the media for the voice of God to go far. Some have been sleeping and now they're getting ready to awaken. We thank you, Father God, that you're waking us up, that the cloud of glory is around us. Some are going to go to bed. They'll wake up with that cloud of glory. They won't understand what happened, but God, you've been visiting them at night. So they're waking up right now. They're ready to plow. They're ready to war. The sun had been asleep, but they're rising up in the spirit right now. Sheep are coming back home. God, through Jesus Christ, left the 99 and went and got the one. It's time to get the one, the one that's wandered off, the one that's going to wait. It's time to get the prodigals. And we thank you, Father God, that they're coming in in droves. They're coming in right now to be in the house of the Lord. We thank you, Father God, for your anointing fire, for you are a mighty God. You're a warrior God, Jehovah Gabor, and your power is living on the inside of us. We shall not shrink back in the day of perdition. We shall not give up. We shall not go back to where we came from because we're going somewhere ahead. We're going somewhere powerful. We're going somewhere mighty. So we thank you, Lord. Prepare us for the journey ahead. Prepare us to endure the persecution. Prepare us to go forth. There will be persecution because Jesus went through persecution and he promises persecution. But he said, do not be discouraged. Be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. So we thank you, Lord, that we are overcomers. We're more than overcomers through him who loved us. We thank you, Lord, for you are good and you are mighty. You're victorious in battle. You never lose a battle. So the enemy must bow. He must bow, bow, bow because the time is now, now, now. We thank you, Lord that we walk into victory. We walk into chambers of commerce and the glory of God goes with us to do the work. We thank you, Father God, that we are under an open heaven and you're pouring out blessings that we have not room enough to receive, that we're running ahead in mercy. And forgive us, Father God, for not doing what you called us to do because we were afraid of the obstacles. But we speak to the things coming to us right now and we say, be gone in Jesus' name. You're under our feet. We crush the power of the enemy. Even when it looks like the things are coming against us, we thank you, Lord, that you see all things, you know all things. So even before it erupts and arises, it's broken down because we're sending those fiery darts back to the enemy camp. We're sending that confusion and that panic he's trying to send to us back to him. We will not fear. We will not shrink back, but we're going forward in the victory. When the devil says boo, we're going to say bye, and he's under our feet. So we thank you, Lord, that we go forth mightily. We go forth in victory. We go forth, we go forth, we go forth. In Jesus' name, we bless you, Father God, and we thank you, Lord. The enemy is under our feet. He's crushed. He's destroyed. And we say to the enemy, by Felicia, because we're not tolerating the enemy's mess on today or any day for that matter, because God goes with us. God goes before us. Amen. He's our rear God and our front God. And we thank God for his goodness and his grace on today. He's a mighty God. Well, I bless you all. I thank you for joining with us on today. May you be blessed You know, as Jesus is high and lifted up, he's drawing all men into his bosom. He's mighty, mighty, mighty. As I bless you, I bless your finances, I bless your marriages. 
all of your businesses. And I pray that God walks with you in this life. He wants to so that you join up with God. He's so good. He loves you with an everlasting love. It's an amazing love. Amazing, amazing, amazing. No one on this earth can love you like God loves you. They love you too, but there's a love that God has. It's a pure love that that can't be touched. We love each other here, but it's nothing like the love of God. And I pray you experience it on today. As you walk through your journey on today, may you experience the unquenchable, enduring, amazing love of God on today. May he pour out his love upon you because he loves you that much. May the doors open for you as you walk into victory. May the the curtain spread open as you've been walking through. Uh, Sometimes it seems like blindly you've been following the Lord, but light is coming in and the curtains are drawing open and you're going to see yourself on many platforms. You're going to see yourself victorious because you are a victor and not a victim. Be blessed.